Uh, first thing on the flight, at least the first couple sections, are uh, ciders. And um, the first one is Principia. This is kind of our most basic tasting cider in the sense that not a lot of crazy flavors added to it. Pretty much just your uh, run-of-the-mill go-to standard cider. It almost reminds me of champagne in a sense uh, with a very light flavor but with bubbles in it. Uh, next on the flight, we have a Blueberry Spaceship Box. This is our number one product in the company and it's also one of the number one rated ciders in the world as well. Um, this is probably one of the most commonly ordered uh, drinks on the menu. What it is is uh, blueberry flavored. Uh, the story behind it is uh, quite the tale as well. It involves uh, Jeff and Jen's family and the way they named a lot of these bottles is kind of just uh, from family experience and that's, uh, that's one of their favorite ones as well. And then next up is the Bimosa. So the Bimosa is a mimosa inspired mead. Uh, very bubbly, um, very great on a Saturday or Sunday morning. Now next up is Hera's Orchard. This is an apricot flavored mead. Uh, it gets the name from uh, Hercules uh, in uh, ancient Greek mythology. Uh, the golden apple is what he was pursuing, uh, though uh, mythology then points to that actually being apricots instead of apples. So. And next up we have La Sombria. This is one of the newest additions to the flight. One of my absolute favorite ones as well. Pomegranate, passion fruit, and uh, aged in tequila barrels. I'm a big tequila fan and this one uh, really does kind of highlight all the flavors. It's nothing like a lot of people have ever tasted before. After that we have Lagrimas de Oro, which in Spanish means uh, tears of gold. This is one of our most award-winning meads uh, that we offer. Um, one of our core products as well, along with uh, Blueberry Spaceship Box, uh, Marion, and uh, um, Peanut Butter and Jelly Crime that's on the uh, flight right now. And uh, next up, this is Sunrise Snorkel. This is a sparkling mead, coconut and blueberry. Very light, very crisp. Um, if you like bubbles, it's an excellent choice. And then next up, this is the Blueberry Hex, one of my favorite uh, meads. Just based on the color, it's got a beautiful color to it. And uh, next up, this is a uh, new addition to the flight as of today. Uh, this one got added to the flight. It is Portuguese Blindfold. It's a BDSM. Uh, that's also aged in another one of our uh, famous uh, meads, the Frambosia. It's aged in Frambosia barrels, so it's got an excellent uh, berry flavor to it. And now here we have Aphrodisia 23. The Aphrodisia series is a part of things called piments, and piments are meads that are made with wine grapes. Uh, batch 23 is made with uh, Cabernet grapes. Uh, batch 22 that we also offer in the restaurant is made with Syrah grapes. This is peanut butter and jelly crime. This is another one of our core products. Uh, the drink itself is made with peanuts, so if you have a peanut allergy, it may not be the drink for you. However, if you like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in general, this drink really does encapsulate every element that goes into the sandwich, even the bread. You can really taste the bread in that one too. And uh, finally on the flight, we have a apple brandy barrel aged San Simone. The San Simone series is made with Frederick Soul uh, cherries. Uh, they are one of the boldest, strongest tasting uh, cherries that we offer. In particular, we have a couple of cherry flavored uh, other meads as well but the San Simone series has uh, some of our best cherries in it as well. My three favorite meads that are featured on the Flight of 12. Uh, number one, I'm gonna start with the newest edition that is um, uh, Portuguese Blindfold. Um, I've, the Frambosia barrels that it's aged in, our Frambosia uh, is one of the most expensive products that we offer in general. Very high quality tasting. Um, we added that one to the barrel this, up to the uh, flight this morning, so today is the first time I've had it and I can honestly genuinely say it is absolutely one of my favorite ones on the flight. Uh, followed up by La Sombria, which is uh, this one right here. 
Um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm a big tequila drinker. Um, and this one is Asian tequila barrels. I also really like passion fruit and pineapple. This one's got kind of a, reminds me almost like a vacation type of vibe. And who doesn't need a vacation right now? So, um, and then I'm gonna close it out with one of the classic ones, the peanut butter and jelly crime. Um, when I first started working here, uh, when I did my research into the company, um, I saw that we had a peanut butter and jelly mead. Um, I was instantly intrigued and from the first day of training when I, when I finally got to have it, it was everything I imagined it would actually be. It was uh, um, a, a real you know, journey through a drink basically to get you to, uh, to a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I, I, you know, I love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, call me a child on the inside, but I think, uh, I think that drink itself really does capture everything you're looking for uh, when it comes to peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. We also do have a couple of other flavor additions that have come with it. There's a coconut peanut butter and jelly crime along with a strawberry peanut butter and jelly crime that have been in the restaurant. Uh, I don't believe we currently have them right now, but they are at least uh, something we do offer at some point. Um, so that, that would be my three favorite meads. I, uh, they're, all, they're all really good. They're all really hard to choose from, but as of right now, that's what I would probably recommend.